Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're trying out FSD version 13.2.2 for the second time. We're gonna see how it does here. We're just pulling out of our plaza and we're on the way to our destination, which is about 6.6 .6 miles away or 15 minutes. So again, this is gonna be my second time with FSD version 13.2.2. I did receive the holiday update along with this update as well. So now I have access to the Apple Watch integration for the Tesla app, which is really cool, as well as some other highlight features such as the uh, radar and uh, the weather radar ingested into the uh, map system for Tesla. So lots of cool features with this holiday update. So we'll see how it does. We do have a very cloudy day here in Columbus, Ohio, and it is quite a cold one. We're uh, showing 42 degrees, but I'm pretty sure it feels much colder than that. So we'll see how uh, this drive goes. So far, uh, my first drive with 13.2.2, if you haven't checked that video out, I'll link it up here in the corner. Go ahead and check it out. I had a driver that pulled out abruptly in front of uh, my car and uh, the Tesla reacted very nicely. Uh, didn't hesitate at all. I was going about 30, 35 in FSD and then the uh, pickup truck tried to, not tried, but it actually did end up cutting right in front of us and uh, FSD handled it very nicely. It slowed down from about 30, 35 down to 10 miles per hour, let them pass and then went on its way. So no hesitation. So, so far, so good with version 13. Overall, I'm very, very happy with version 13. I mean, it's, it's such an incredible update and um, I really can't say enough good things about 13. So a couple cars here. Uh, the second car in line cut right through, but FSD 13 did not hesitate whatsoever. So that was nice to see. Overall, that's kind of the theme of uh, version 13, I think is, is very, the confidence level is very high. I would say that the theme so far is high confidence, um, minimal hesitation and consistency. So, We'll see how it acts here on this split lane. So we're in one lane now, this lane splits into two. So it is end up, it is deciding to take the far right lane here, which is awesome because I think up ahead will be towards a roundabout and then we're gonna be getting off the first exit. So it's intelligent enough to make those decisions in advance, which is really, really nice to see. If you enjoy this video, I'm asking for your support, consider subscribing to my channel I'm gonna be releasing lots of videos like this as Tesla progressively releases their update and their software for FSD. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're growing the channel, which is awesome. So to all my new subscribers, welcome. And to my current subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. So definitely consider subscribing to my channel to see more videos and more content like this. So here we are on the roundabout and it is handling it very, very nicely. So it's turning on the right turn signal it's interesting it only turned it on for a split second there i think it only had uh two clicks and then it turned itself off here is a sharp left turn so we'll see how it handles here there's no stop sign or anything we're just doing a sharp left and very very nice i believe the speed limit here is going to be 35 no it's 45 up ahead so right now it's still registering 35 right here, uh, but just in a second, we should see that switch over to 45. And there we go. I am in the standard profile out of the three profiles that FSD provides, which is chill, standard, and hurry. I notice myself using standard more often than not, just because it's a good blend of the two. So I, I enjoy standard, it's not too dramatic in terms of speed as hurry could potentially be and it's not too slow in chill mode as you would see so here we are approaching this red light we're going to be making a right stack of cars here on the left hand side so visibility is pretty much obstructed here okay so now we have the green light and we're off into the far right lane great now what you just saw and it's cutting over actually all three lanes here getting into the very far left lane to make that uh, to make this left turn here up ahead so what you saw there where it cut through immediately to the left I'm seeing that behavior with version 13 so previous versions especially in 12 
it would make that right at the intersection like we did prior and then it would hug the right lane for a while and then it would consistently and methodically make its way over to the left hand lane uh, but with version 13 i'm seeing it approach it more like a human would and a human would really just make that turn merge into the middle lane if not the very far left lane and then cut all the way towards the left side here to make this left so it's making decisions very human-like and very smoothly so here's our left green arrow and very very nice up ahead at this light we should be making a right not sure why it's deciding to go in the left lane here we'll see unless there's okay so these two lanes do go right it's interesting how it knew that so far out i mean there was really no i didn't see any signs of these two right lanes being applicable for a right turn here and look at that it just it went right into the left lane so again no hesitation it doesn't it's understanding that it doesn't always need to take that far right lane it can cut right into the lane it needs to be in if there's no traffic and if it's safe to do so just like a human would so amazing to see these decisions take place right in front of me all right so we have our green arrow up ahead so we're going to be making this left moderate traffic here on this intersection very nice very smooth now when we approach this light up ahead our maps and the gps is having us turn right but it's kind of an angled right so it's not going to be a sharp right it's kind of just steering off to the right so we'll see how it does here you could see up ahead that it's not a sharp right it's kind of a angled turn here but again no problem at all zero hesitation went right for it now we're at a we're in a 35 mile per hour zone i just saw that deer sign i haven't had any situations with deer uh gets me thinking though how fsd would react if uh, a deer did jump out onto the road i'm assuming it would detect that as an obstacle and safely slow down but um yeah i'm curious if anybody's ever had that situation definitely uh leave a comment down below and one of you guys in my previous videos had mentioned to me that honking is a part of fsd's roadmap so if you're ever in a situation in which you need to honk your horn fsd can't do that today but apparently one of you guys told me that it's on tesla's roadmap so that's cool to see so we have a pretty windy road here and it's smooth as butter absolutely no hesitation and it's so smooth and it's so clear very windy road but it's approaching it very nicely here Another comment I got from you, from one of you guys on my previous video, and this was a really good point as well, this got me thinking, in a situation in which I'm making a right turn at an intersection, typically you would turn your turn signal on prior to getting to the intersection as you're approaching it. However, if you're approaching a gas station that also has an entrance exit right prior to the light, but you're approaching the red light trying to make that red, turn then you should only turn on your turn signal after you pass the entrance exit ramp to the gas station because if there's a car in the queue or waiting in line to get out of the gas station then what happens is that car could register or get confused in terms of if you're making a right into the plaza or if you're making a right up ahead at the light so fsd turns its turn signal on prior to getting past that exit entrance ramp at the gas station and so it would be interesting to see if tesla can predict and incorporate that into their software where if you're making a right on red and you're approaching that intersection you should really only turn on your blinker after you pass an entrance exit on the right hand side whether that's into a plaza or a gas station or what have you you should pass that first then turn your blinker on to not confuse other drivers so really interesting comment there 
So we're in a 45 mile zone, but we're going 36 right now, 35, 36. So that's a little slower than I would like to have FSD going, at least on this road right now. Not sure why it's going 37. It should be going at least the speed limit, 45. Ideally, I think I have an offset of five miles per hour over. So really it should be going about 50 here, but interesting to see that. So we're slowing down for this roundabout here. We're gonna make this full loop and then get off the final exit there on the left hand side so that forerunner just came out onto the roundabout pretty quick but no hesitation from fsd so that was really really awesome very cloudy day but very nicely done as well there on the roundabout very smooth no reservation no hesitation super smooth so now we're registering a 55 mile per hour speed limit zone here and now we're picking up speed so now you can see we're approaching 50, 51. And again, my offset, I believe, is set to five over. Another very windy road up ahead here. And absolutely no problem. So now we're doing 56, so we're going over the limit, which is great. That's what I wanna see. Not sure why it was going a little bit slower on that other road behind us, but now it's doing its job. It's going up to 57, and again, we're in a 55, so great to see that. And again, overall, I'm just so, so happy with version 13. I haven't seen too many differences between 13.2.1 and then 13.2.2. It is just a point increase, so I don't expect too many changes. Um, looks like the car is now slowing down. So we went from 53 to... Oh, okay. Obviously, it's because we're turning here. All right. Awesome. So we're going to be making this right into Alum Creek State Park. And perfect. We're now approaching a speed limit of 20. We're coming up here on speed bumps. In previous versions on version 12, I've had issues, but look at this, it's perfect. It's slowing down, going eight miles per hour. It registered eight to nine to go over that speed limit, which is fantastic really really cool to see that i've had issues on previous versions especially version 12 it would just fly through these speed bumps so looks like it's going now six mile per hour over those speed bumps we have a block in the road so it's registering that which is great we're going to be making this left here even though the map had us go the other way it still registered that block so that's cool Last time when I took this to downtown, that did not happen for me. And it tried to go past the roadblock. But even though our map showed us going straight, it saw the block in the road and then it took the first available left to get around that. So really, really cool to see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take over here and I'm gonna slide into this parking spot here. So again, this was a fantastic, fantastic ride. Zero interventions, awesome to see. And again, consider subscribing to my channel, guys, if you wanna see more content like this. I'm gonna be posting many, many more videos like this as Tesla releases their software and makes updates and improvements to their FSD. So again, consider subscribing. We're really growing the channel, which is awesome to see. Thanks for your support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.